This episode of Osprey 101 is sponsored by Housing and Residence Life. Oh, hey guys, what's up? I'm Erin. This is my house at the Flats. This is our laundry room. It comes with a washer and a dryer. You unfortunately have to buy all that stuff. It doesn't come with it, sorry. <laughs> this is my, my roommate's collage wall area. We're still decorating, so. When you come in this way, this is our pantry. Pantry's pretty, pretty big. Flats has a pretty good storage. But you walk in this way, this is our kitchen. And following our kitchen, you will meet our dining room table with our fairy lights in the background. All right, and you walk over here. This is our lovely living room that we like to watch Grey's Anatomy and do our homework at. My favorite pillow. It's not even mine. <laughs> and then this is my roommate's room. She's not home right now, but she is lovely. She's a great person. Um, same with our patio. Over here, we're gonna get our hallway, mine, my other roommate's hallway. This is room C, this is my room. You can see, very good size, very nice storage area. I actually have extra storage. You walk through this way, this is my jungle, my jungle bathroom. And pretty good size, you know, you got cabinets, medicine cabinets there's no bathtub but it's still great <laughs> and yeah All right guys, that's the rest of the apartment I have to show you. Thanks for coming, see you later. The first thing that a student wants to do if they plan to live on campus for next year is to complete their academic year housing contract. What's really important that a student do during that process is look through it because it's really like a lease agreement. So that contract's gonna outline rules, regulations, financial obligations, and a little bit about what our processes are gonna look like. So the biggest thing, biggest takeaway for any student, first year and upperclassmen, is make sure you're watching your UNF email. That's where we're gonna send all the room selection information. The way we do room selection here at UNF is that you choose your specific room. Also included in all those communications is going to be how do I pick my roommate? How do I pull somebody in? How do I create roommate groups? And so you wanna pay attention to that. And the last piece will be your time ticket. That's specifically when are you as a human going to go in and choose that room? And it may be different for you than it is for your preferred roommate or other friends. So make sure you're watching all of those emails. I think one of the first things you need to do is figure out what are your boundaries as a roommate. And for a lot of students, they may or may not have maybe lived with a sibling or with other people. Um, so one of the first things I would suggest is even before you get to campus, think about what's gonna be important in that relationship and what are your boundaries. Um, so some of the things to think about are how clean or messy are you? What time of day do you like to go to sleep? What time of day do you like to get up? What level of noise do you have? In regards to rules and regulations, we have something called the Resident Handbook. So overall, for all UNF students, we have the Code of Student Conduct, and that's all university students have to follow as regulations. In addition, we have our Resident Handbook, and that is what guides the policies and procedures for students who live on campus. And so typically, you're gonna see some things repeated from the Code of Conduct, and then some things that are really specific to living in a residence hall with people. So a lot of our rules and regulations for things to bring are gonna be associated with fire safety. You're in a communal space, we wanna make sure that you're making choices and bringing things that make sense. So as an incoming first year student, um, some of the options for how you can get involved, like I mentioned, you've got the living learning communities, which is a chance to live together with people in the same major, the same interest area. Those applications, there is an application deadline and it's early June this year. So you wanna make sure that you're applying by that deadline. 
um, but you can apply to up to three, you can preference up to three and the faculty and staff review those. Those LLCs are gonna have an earlier move-in experience. You get to come to campus two to three days before everybody else. Um, there's a higher concentration of doubles um, and part of what you can experience during that retreat will be things like going to Eco Adventure and kind of getting the inside scoop before other students on what campus is all about. Um, you also can get involved in hall council or area council, which is kind of like a student council for the residence halls. And then as you're here on campus, if you become an upperclassman, eventually you can think about if you want to be an RA or an LCA, so resident assistant or learning community assistant.